Hi everyone, welcome back. In this session, I am going to discussing about few more problems uh, in calendars topic. Uh, let's see the first question in this uh, session. See here, on what dates March uh, 2005? On what dates of March 2005 did Friday falls? Uh, here we have to find uh, the dates of uh, dates in March 2005 and that particular dates are Fridays. That particular dates are Fridays. In March 2005, on what dates uh, Friday falls? That we have to find. So, in order to get that value, first of all, let us take March 1st. 1st March 2005. First to calculate what is this week. Once you will get this week, definitely it is possible to get on what dates Friday falls. So, first March 2005. As we already discussed in the last sessions, left hand side we have to write the completed years and right hand side is running year. 2005 that is running year and it is a normal year, so February month consisting of 28 days only. January, February and in March, I am taking only one day, 1st March. And February month is consisting of 28 days, January month consisting of 31 days. 31 days is nothing but 3 odd days, 28 days, 0 odd days and this is 1 odd day. Coming to left hand side, now... These are the completed years. 2004 years are completely over and I am writing this 2020, uh, 2004 years as maximum 400 multiple in this uh, 2004. That is 2000 plus 4 years. 2000 plus uh, 4 years. So, in these 2000 years, in these 2000 years, number of orders are 0. Why? Because for every 400 multiple of years, number of odd days are 0. And again, in this 4 years, uh, normal years and leap years will be there. There is 1 leap year and uh, 3 normal years. There is 1 leap year and 3 normal years. Uh, every leap year consisting of 2 odd days. Every leap year consisting of how many odd days? 2 odd days. Therefore, this is 2. This is 3. And this is 3 and this is 1. Now, these are the values we left over. Now, you can eliminate 7 days. 3 plus 3 plus 1. 3 plus 3 plus 1 which is equal to that is uh, 7. So, finally we left over with 2 odd days. Finally, we left over with what? Uh, 2 odd days. Number of odd days uh, in March uh, 1st, 2005. That is 2 odd days. Uh, here, we all know that 0 is equal to Sunday. 0 is equal to Sunday. 1 is equal to Monday. And 2 is equal to Tuesday. But we want uh, Friday. But we want Friday. March 1st. March 1st. That is false Tuesday. March 1st Tuesday. Then... That is next day, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Here it is 2nd, uh, 3rd and 4th. March 4th, 2005. March 4th, 2005. That was false on uh, Friday. And uh, next dates automatically 4th March. After that again after 7 days it will repeat. 4 plus 7, 11. 11th March, next 11 plus 7. 18th March, 18 plus 7. 18 plus 7, that is 25. 25th March. Here, these are the 4 dates. These are the 4 dates that falls on Friday. March 2005. March 2005, the dates are March 2005, which falls on Friday, which falls on Friday. The dates are 4th, 11th, 18th and 25th. These are the dates which falls on Friday in March 2005.
5. In this way, you can easily solve this kind of problems. If you observe carefully, each and every model is belongs to this category only. That is uh, completed years and running year. You have to write down two columns. One is completed years, one is running year. Next question. See here. Here the question is, uh, what was the day of the week on 16th July 1776? 16th July 1776. Again, here the running year is 1776th year. That is a leap year. That was a leap year. 1776. 76 is divisible by 4. Therefore, that was a leap year. So, January month is 31 days. February month 29, March 31, April 30, May 31, June 30. Again, July, I am calculating July 16. So, I have to write only till 16. 16, July 16 days. Here, number of odd days, 2. 2 weeks plus 2 extra days. Here, 4 weeks plus 2 extra days. 4 weeks plus 3 extra days, 2. Here it is 3. Here it is 1. 4 weeks plus 1 extra day. And again here it is 3. Now again you can cancel 7 days. 3 plus 3 plus 1, 7 cancel. 3 plus 2 plus 2, 7 cancel. Right hand side you left over with 2. Now coming to left hand side, how many years are completed? 1775 years are completed. In that, I am taking maximum 400 multiple. Maximum 400 multiple first 1600. After that, maximum century 100, 1700 are already over. And next, finally left over with 75 years. Here the number of odd days 0 directly. Here the number of odd days for 100 years that is 5. Now you can calculate number of odd days for 75 years, normal years and leap years. You can divide with 4 so that you will get a number of leap years. Here number of leap years are 18 leap years. Number of leap years are 18 leap years. So obviously remaining years, how many years? 57. Remaining 57 are normal years. Every normal year consisting of one odd day, leap year consisting of two odd days. Here it is 36 uh, and this one is 57. You can divide with 7. If you divide with 7, remainder is uh, 1. 7, 8, sir, 56. 8 weeks plus 1 extra day. Here, 5 weeks plus 1 extra day. Now, if you see 5 plus 1 plus 1, 7 days are cancelled. So, left hand side value is 0, right hand side value is 2. Therefore, 2 is nothing but if number of odd days are 2, if number of odd days are 2, that week is called as a Tuesday. That week is called as Tuesday. Why? Because 0 is Sunday, 1 is Monday, 2 is a Tuesday. That is the answer for this question. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the session. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching.